Hi guys, uh, today's video is about um, should I upgrade to the RTX 4090 Ti or should I wait and get the latest CPU upgrade and go to the latest system before going to this uh, GPU. Well, I'm going to give you my thoughts and what I think people should do, but then you guys can do whatever you guys want. My opinion on this topic about people saying to buy this GPU, to not buy this GPU, I'm going to explain to you guys something. If you guys are going to go to the RTX 4090 Ti, just be prepared to change your power supply. Okay? They're basically estimating the 4090 Ti to have about 600 watt power draw. Okay? So it's going to need probably 600 watts out of your PSU. It's going to take at least 600 watts. Okay? Also, the existing PSUs, they're planning on getting adapters. Okay? I do not recommend getting the adapters because you guys are going to catch a fire. You guys are going to blow up your computer and your GPU. Everything is going to be on fire. Number one. Number two, uh, I believe a lot of people are going to be having problems with this, putting it into their existing system. Okay, This GPU here, to be honest with you people, is designed for a newer and more powerful computer. Okay, The computers that are out there now are not going to take full advantage of this GPU. Okay, What I'm going to recommend, instead of you guys waiting around to spend two thousand dollars or whatever it is for this is what you guys should be doing is wait for the latest CPU okay because once you get the latest CPU then you get this GPU okay so just to let you guys know um, there is uh, a CPU uh, around it around the corner that's going to basically change the game of upgrading your computer so right now uh, Forget about the Intel i9 11900K, which I have, and forget about the Intel i9 12900K. We're going to be having an Intel i9 13900K. Okay, this thing here apparently is going to be a beast. This will take full advantage of the 4090s GPU, and it's going to be on a Z790 motherboard uh, DDR5 and obviously PCIe 5 which will take advantage of it this CPU here draws out 250 watts you need a 250 watts of uh, it takes about 250 watts to power okay so now you got to think about you got to think about it 600 watts for the 4090 Ti 250 watts for this so that's 850 watts between the CPU and the GPU meaning 1300 watts or higher PSU is what you guys are going to need, okay? Because it makes no sense to be running a 4090 Ti or 4080, 4090 on your existing PSU with adapters, and you guys are going to catch fire. Okay, there's going to be a lot of problems. I, I, I feel sorry for people that are going to be jumping in line to get the 4090 because they're going to put a nice fire on their computer, and that'll just put an end to their existing system, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know, instead of waiting around for 4090, uh, what I would recommend is uh, go for this um, Intel 13900K. Save your $2,000 for this, okay? Forget about throwing $2,000 on a 4090 Ti, which isn't really not going to make much of a difference, okay? So that's what I would do. And uh, just to let you guys know, uh, this CPU has been overclocked uh, to 8 gigahertz. So as you could see, um, it was already uh, tested from an unnamed overclocker. So this thing here is going to be absolutely very, very fast. Uh, and basically what I would recommend is for people to wait until this comes out. Because once you get this, you can pair it with a 4090 GPU and you will take full advantage of what that 4090 is supposed to do instead of putting it into your existing system. So anyways, guys, I uh, just figured you guys let you know that uh, this is what you guys should do is wait for this and get the latest system and then get the 4090.
don't put the 4090 in your existing i7 computer or even the computer I have okay there's no point because if you're gonna do that you're still gonna have to replace it with this which you're gonna have to change your PSU so it's better to just wait for the latest CPU guys um, that's just my honest opinion and um, that's pretty much it I just made this video to make you guys understand that that's the best way to do it get the CPU first and wait for the 13th uh, generation CPU and then uh, take it from there okay anyways guys have a good day and hopefully you guys enjoy the video